Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm going to quickly show you how to add live drawing or written text in Final Cut Pro for the iPad. Okay, to start, you're going to have to download the app. There is a free trial, but it is a subscription, and you're also going to need an iPad. So once you have that in front of you, you're going to open up the Final Cut Pro app, create a new project, name it whatever you want. I am working on a little TikTok video about my leaning coat rack, so I'm just going to call it leaning coat rack format leave it as automatic and press continue you're going to import your footage from the photo app i just have one clip here that i already edited on my desktop you're going to select the clip in the project media and then click insert to have it put into the timeline so since i already have this video edited i'm just going to quickly cut up where i would like text to be added First things first is I'm gonna click that little dial thing on the right, which is very handy to kind of like skim through and decide where to cut. So I want all the way up until I have my little graphic pop up. So I'm just going to press this little icon in the bottom right, that middle one to split the clip. Then I'm gonna work my way through till that ends. And this shot starts and I'm going to click that same button, the middle one in the bottom right corner. And I'm just going to quickly go through this so I don't bore you with it. The reason I'm doing this is because when you add a live drawing, it's going to take up the whole length of that clip. And I think it just makes it easier to decide what writing goes where and for what duration. My video is only 30 seconds, so this is relatively quick. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips. You're gonna move the playhead to wherever you want the drawing to start. I want it to start at the beginning. Now you're gonna select the live drawing icon, which is this third one in this little group of stuff in the top menu. That's gonna pull up the live drawing window and it's gonna pull the frame where you left your playhead on. You're also gonna see this little toolbar that you can move side to side. It has undo and redo buttons, a pen tool, marker, color pencil, eraser, a selection tool, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really know what that does, a ruler, and a little color palette. One of the colors on the color palette you can actually press into and select really whatever color you want. There's also a little dropper tool where you can select a color that's on your little freeze frame. Okay, I'm gonna add a little something here. I usually go for just like a basic white color and the pen tool. I always turn the opacity up and select the thickest option. Okay, let's add a little something here. What's cool about live drawing is that if you mess up or like undo a mistake, it's not going to show you like deleting and re-adding stuff when you're all done. And I think that's something Procreate does when you like export your time lapse to add it over a video. But I mean, this feature is pretty nice because you don't have to worry about messing up. I will say it doesn't have all of the capabilities that like Procreate has, but honestly, if you just want to do like something simple, it's pretty cool. Ah, that looks actually really cute! Once you're done writing or drawing, click done in the top right corner, and then it will appear there in the timeline, and you can go ahead and press play to see how it looks. And it's looking pretty good to me. But if it's not looking good to you, you can just select the clip and go back in by clicking that same little icon on the top and it'll take you back to what you've done so far. If you want your live drawing clip to go faster or slower, select it, click inspect, and under options in draw on, you're gonna scroll it to the left or to the right. A higher number will be slower and a lower number will be faster. And if you just want the still image, leave it at zero. You can also layer different drawings on top of each other. And you're gonna go back into that same little drawing icon to bring up that live drawing screen and then do it all over again. This time I'm just gonna add like little flowers, maybe cute little arrow animations, just to, you know, kind of make it visually exciting. So we'll do little flowers, cause I like these little flowers. They make it look cute. I'm gonna do a little arrow. That arrow was ugly, let me redo it again. That arrow was still ugly. Okay, so I'm gonna click done. And then I'm gonna do another one. Okay, as you can see here, I've been able to layer multiple drawings so they're going off simultaneously. Ah, it looks so cute, okay. 
Another tip, you can also change the position of your live drawing. To do that, you're gonna select the live drawing clip, hit inspect, click this little middle one here to go to the transform and cropping menu, and you're just gonna move it to wherever you want it. So the little part where it says West Elm is kind of getting overlapped by my little doodle. So I'm just gonna slightly move it. And that's that. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all done. My cute little leaning coat rack is from West Elm. It's 130, but I got it on sale for 110 like three years ago, and it can fit six pairs of my shoes on there, less if you got bigger feet. This thing does tip over easily, which is a little annoying, but that's fine. It's still cute. The little hooks also have a little divot, but you can't really hang that much on them. And you can also secure it to the wall with a nail or something, but I just use three hand command strips to keep it in place. Kind of pricey for what it is, but it's cute and functional. That's pretty good to me. So now I'm just gonna export it as a video. Um, I like to do it as social platforms so the file is smaller, but it's still great quality. That way it also has an easier time uploading. Export, takes a little bit. And then once it's done, I'm gonna airdrop it to my phone. It's so cute. So that's pretty much how you do it. Like I mentioned before, the way I personally like to do it is complete my edit on my laptop in Final Cut Pro and then export it and airdrop it to my iPad and then open up that export into here, do all my fun little edits and then export from the iPad and airdrop it to my iPhone to be uploaded onto TikTok. Hopefully Apple adds some more brushes and pens with customizability kind of like Procreate has, but either way, it's still a pretty great tool to add a little flair to your videos. Well, that's pretty much it. If it helped you out, please give a thumbs up to this video. And of course, if you have any questions, tips, or really anything you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Okay, that was dumb. Bye.